Why forgive and pray for others? Three ways to find grace and healing as we pray for forgiveness for ourselves and for others. When Jesus taught his followers to pray, he said to pray, Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Luke chapter 11 verse 4 Notice that he linked our forgiveness from God with our forgiveness of others. Forgive us, he told us to pray, as we forgive. Forgive us as we forgive. It can be taken several ways and that may have been intentional on Jesus' part because its of the possible meanings is instructive and potentially life-changing. Number one, pray to forgive willingly. When Jesus says, pray like this, forgive us as we forgive, he teaches us to pray graciously. He also teaches us that our forgiveness of others somehow activates the Father's forgiveness of us. The phrase can be taken to mean, forgive us in the same way we forgive others. It can be understood as a suggestion that our forgiveness of others will set the tone for the Father's forgiveness of us. Jesus said as much. In Matthew's account, after Jesus taught his model prayer to his first followers, he did what most rabbis would do. He offered a little commentary rewinding things a bit and going back to the prayer for forgiveness. For if you forgive others their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Matthew chapter 6 verses 14 to 15 Wow! Jesus didn't mean words. I don't know how he could make it any clearer. Forgiveness is a big deal. And it's a big deal not primarily because it's bad for the people we can't or won't forgive. It's a big deal because it's bad for us. It's a soul-eating infection. It will eat away at us from the inside out. And it will short-circuit our experience of forgiveness. Number 2. Pray to forgive fully. The words forgive us as we forgive may also be taken to mean Forgive us to the extent that we forgive others. None of us wants partial forgiveness from God, so we pray for grace to forgive fully because that is how God forgives and what we need. Jesus' parable in Matthew 18 has as its main character a king, and one of his servants or officials. Jesus depicts that man as owing the king an enormous sum that he was unable to pay. In those days, rather than filing for bankruptcy as we do now, it was common for a man and his family and possessions to be sold for such a debt. So the servant begged, for patience and pleaded for time, and the king did more than give him an extension. He forgave the debt completely. 
The servant begged for a little mercy, but the king gave him immeasurable grace. Key to the ability to forgive is the grace to grasp the reality, the depth, the height, the extent of our own forgiveness, of how much and how completely we have been forgiven. Unfortunately, we are too often like the man in Jesus' parable who went out, found someone who owed him a pittance and rather than forgiving as he had been forgiven, demanded immediate payment in full. Despite the incredible grace we have received, we withhold mercy, harbor a grudge, and nurse bitterness in our heart towards someone who has hurt us. We think that withholding forgiveness is going to make us feel better. Even though we've been withholding forgiveness and yet we're still miserable, still struggling, still failing, still trying to move on, still trying to figure out why we can't get better and even why we seem to be getting worse. As if something keeps eating away at our happiness and hope and spiritual strength. But maybe, just maybe, if we can grasp the reality of our own forgiveness and grant forgiveness to those who hurt us, we can actually move down to path toward healing. Maybe healing comes as we learn to pray. Forgive us as we forgive. And maybe, forgiving fully opens the door to healing fully. Number three, pray to forgive constantly. That little word, as, in the prayer Jesus taught his followers can also be taken to mean while. That is, it can be taken to mean forgive us while we are in the act of forgiving those who sin against us. When God forgives, it's a done deal. When He forgives, He forgets. But for us, forgiveness is not so simple or so complete. Often with us, forgiveness must be a daily decision. Jesus structured His modal prayer to include the prayer for forgiveness in the same breath as prayer for daily bread. So, just as we pray for daily bread, we pray for daily forgiveness. In other words, forgive us today as we are forgiving today. You can choose today to grasp the reality of your own forgiveness and extend that same mercy to whoever hurt you. You don't have to feel like it. You don't have to chin up any warm feelings for that person. But you can refuse not to retaliate today. You can wipe the slate clean today. You can forgive that death today. And as you do that, the forgiveness that accompanies your forgiveness will place a growing distance between you and the thing you've forgiven. Like setting a toy boat in a flowing stream or river, once you release the boat into the current, it will be taken farther and farther away until, sometime in the future, you lose sight of it, and it will lose hold of you. Bible verse about forgiveness.
If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. 1 John chapter 1, verse 9 Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 32 And when you stand praying, if you hold anything against anyone, forgive him, so that your Father in heaven may forgive you your sins. Mark chapter 11, verse 25 So watch yourselves. If your brother sins, rebuke him. And if he repents, forgive him. If he sins against you seven times in a day, and seven times come back to you and says, I repent, forgive him. Luke chapter 17 verses 3 to 4. Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Philippians chapter 4, verse 8 Therefore I tell you, her many sins have been forgiven, for she loved much. But he who has been forgiven little, loves little. Luke chapter 7 verse 47 May God bless us all.